Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is a special edition of the Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you as always. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to Chile, but of course sold out Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Let's go, fellas. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. Mahomes now to throw. This is complete to Watkins on the slant. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. They'll run on first down. Moss, and they went the wrong way there, losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play, and that'll make this a second and 13. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Now on second and 13, Mahomes firing quickly here, and that's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Play action. Now it's Mahomes, and it's complete to Kelsey. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Earl Thomas in on the stop. And quickly now, a look at the Kansas City offense. An excellent year, obviously, because they got the open week, had the bye. But the one thing you always worry about, the rust factor. And I had a coach say to me one time, when you have that open week, you often think about scrimmaging so you're ready to go the next week. But you know you can't, so you cross your fingers and hope your guys are ready to roll. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they took the shot, didn't get it, and there's definitely a difference here because they had a chance to get seven, maybe eight if they pushed it. Instead, they'll likely settle for three. Yeah, opening drive, holding him to three psychologically, maybe a win for the defense. 
Every possession in the postseason magnified. And look, it's just the opening drive. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but at least they got on the board. They got on the board. They've got their home crowd into it as well. And remember, in the playoffs, the game slows down a little bit. So every point is precious. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here are the Ravens now as they get set for their opening possession. As we get a look at a guy who grew up in Florida, played his college ball, of course, in Louisville. It's the electric Lamar Jackson. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 27. From the gun, Jackson. Catches made by Marquise Brown. Last week in the wild card win, he had seven catches. That's his first one here. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Here's Jackson to throw. Got a man, it's Brown. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line and a penalty flag may add insult to injury. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Jackson from the shotgun. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. Give him 18 yards on that one, and it's a second down. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Bust through the tackle. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. First carry now for Justice Hill. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. On first and 10, it's Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. This is Ingram on first and 10. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's it, baby. And we get a quick peek at the Ravens starting offense. And what a tough environment to roll into. On the road, playing one of the better teams in the league, obviously, because this is the playoffs. So what do teams talk about? Bringing their own momentum, bringing their own energy on the road, because you know you won't get any from the home crowd. Open man here is Scott, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. Jackson and the offense come up first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. And let's take a look at the defensive starters for Kansas City. Tyron Matthew has a cornerback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Jackson. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. On third and one, Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. 
You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out the, just because bre you break chestnuts? I I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be second and 12. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's what I'm talking about. Sex all day. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. A big third down conversion with a gain of 28. On first down, it's Moss. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he got blown up, losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Third and 15 here after the first and second down plays went in the wrong direction. To throw, it's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. Well, I tell you, Brandon, this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. The Ravens offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Super <laughs> a full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Jackson. His throw incomplete. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Throwing is Jackson. They'll roll him out right. He may try and run for this. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain of right around 35 yards on a play that started back inside their 10. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. They'll run on first down. Ingram. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. 3 3, a tight one after one on EA Sports. So now, first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45 yard line. Now, Jackson, he uncorks it for Sneed. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now it's Jackson. It's complete to Snead. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. To throw is Jackson. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. On first down, it's Ingram. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Jackson, he's got his man, it's Andrews. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Jackson now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Frank Clark credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Jackson now. Got an open man. It's Scott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-3. to a pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's capped off with a Ravens touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded at the 6. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. And going deep for Hill. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 25 yards that time. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing quickly, Mahomes gets this out to Watkins. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Well, that's good for a first down. There's a guy who went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. This will be caught at about the six. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. To throw again on second down, Mahomes. That is caught by Moss. Touchdown, Kansas City. 
It's a six-yard touchdown pass as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. This will be taken in at the 1. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. And he'll be taken down right around the 27. The Ravens on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and six. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there and handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now the homes may be a free play. It's Kelsey on the ground. Hey, you don't want to see me. You say defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. It's a pickup of six. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. This one out quickly to Watkins. Man, he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball, because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 34. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. On second and 11 now, Mahomes. And he will find his man on the outside. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. From the gun on third down, Mahomes throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. They'll run on first down. Thompson. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Single, single, 
From the 17, Mahomes complete the tight end, Kelsey. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is caught by Watkins for a chief touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there as his guys are able to regain the lead. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 17-10 score. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. This pass into the arms of Sneed. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And his throw here is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. But it'll be second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Here's Jackson to throw again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Frank Clark able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. This is Hill. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. He's not going to get me. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Moss. Now another timeout called for by the offense. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Mahomes now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Mahomes now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. And this is caught by Watkins. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 53 yards out. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. We've already punched two tickets to the championship round this weekend. We'll get back to you guys and punch a third in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's AFC Divisional Round game. And it's the Cleveland Browns who will fight on as they were able to eliminate the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
Meanwhile, in our game, we've got one half remaining to find out who goes on to the AFC title game. And to bring it all to you, let's send it back out to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From the 27, Jackson. This one complete to Ingram. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Here's Jackson. Open man here is Scott. Complete. And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. That's Ronnie Stanley, former top 10 pick from Notre Dame. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Throwing is Jackson. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Bringing him down there, Jonathan Allen. Looking to throw on second down. Mahomes. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Mahomes now to throw, and it's complete to Kelsey. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 24-yard line. On first down, it's Thompson. And a good run as he manages seven yards down to the 17. On second down now, it's Moss. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Now here's Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Moss. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. They'll run on first down. Thompson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. On second and a couple. Mahomes. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Mahomes going to throw, and it's caught. 
Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Last stop. Last stop. There's a lot of Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Check tight end. Check tight. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes to the goal line, but it's incomplete. So now it's third and goal. This Raven defense trying to keep him out of the end zone. Looking to throw is Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit them, they go through. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Mahomes now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Moss. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Man open, it's Moss complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. It's a good pickup of seven yards, and now they're looking at second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Apparently the week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand yard rush in the regular season. Got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning basically saying that they would not have won the division without him. And he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main cog. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Now Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey there to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise methodical as one of the words you've taught me and they just got it done and slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit things looking good for them here in the third quarter not only pulling away but you mentioned that slowly but surely you also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that so you really give yourself an advantage no problem there on the extra point and that'll make this a three score game now the lead moves to 17. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pater. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. A gain of 19 in picking up the first. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up the first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Ingram. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. On second and 11 now, Jackson, he's got his man, it's Andrews. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That catch good for five, it's third down. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Ravens on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Jackson. And that will be incomplete. A 
another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Uh, you know that they were thinking second half comeback here. That's a big miss if they want to have a chance at that comeback. A very big miss because time is becoming a real factor now, and they're three scores down. On first down, Moss. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Moss. It'll be a five-yard pickup there. So from second and 13, they're back to a more manageable third and eight. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. Second and five now. Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Automatic first down. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. Got an open man, it's Scott. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Hayden Hurst, former first-round pick, the intended target. But it's going to be second down. Second and 10. Here's Jackson again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. So that one will be accepted. Let's go, Automatic first down. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10 from the gun, Jackson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Four down, four down, check, check. On second down, it's Hill. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Jackson looking to throw on third. Roll it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Derek Wolf coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three.
Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A pretty big opening there on first down. Eight yards up to the 33. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second and two. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. It'll go as a gain of 10 on a Kansas City first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the carry, Thompson. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. On second down, it's Moss. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he fires one, but incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder. You think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And he's going to have the hook up to Scott. And he's taken down, but able to slip go, across the 35. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. He dumps it down to Ingram. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. They get 14 on that one. That's good for a Baltimore first down. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Only three there on the screen, it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Jackson, looking left side and it's complete. And now look at this, big gain but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his guys will take over at the 30 yard line. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. They go play action here on first down. And this is caught by Watkins. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Not even a chance to pitch that one as he's swallowed up in the backfield. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Let's go. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 38-yard line. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out.
So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. 59 Mike, 59 Mike, check. Mahomes now to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now here's Mahomes. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And quickly we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Mahomes going to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. Raven's going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive go, just past the 30-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. This one complete to Ingram. They'll give him a yard on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Jackson now. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On first and 10, it's Jackson. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He completes it to Tate. 23 yards, the final tally. 
Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resist. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Justice Hill there to make the grab. And the Ravens cut into that lead. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> They go for just one here as it's up and good. And that will shave one more off this lead. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the Chiefs have got it. And with that, they should have a victory as well. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.